This week marks the end of Missouri's deer season, but for the very serious hunters, it also means the beginning of the next one. I'm already planning my projects for this off season that'll not only help my deer hunting in the fall, but it'll help my turkey hunting in the spring. It is never too early to start thinking about how you can improve your property. I know a lot of people that while they're sitting in the stand waiting on that deer to walk by, they're, they're laying out future food plots or thinking about a particular bedding area they, they wanna fix up. And the saying goes, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So here are five off-season projects you can do to make your property better. And the first project you can do is the easiest one. You need to evaluate last season. Think back over last season and try to remember those hunts where deer traveled just out of bow range or maybe you didn't even see your target buck during a hunt at all. Um, now is the time to try to remedy those situations. Think about how a deer may have traveled to avoid you. You know, was it your entry and exit routes or, or maybe your stand is just not in the right place? Check downwind of your stand site. You're looking for any sign that deer may have used a different route than you expected in an effort to avoid you. They just might use that same route next year. The second off-season project is to start preparing your stand sites for next season. Did you notice that the wind was always wrong for this particular set or that the deer entered your food plot from a completely random spot that you didn't expect? Well, now is the time to adjust. Now, I'm not saying you need to hang your stands in February. What I'm saying is, if you know you need to adjust and you could pick a you know set of trees that look like a good stand site, you may need to evaluate how you are gonna enter and exit that stand. You know, the earlier in the season you can adjust those, those trails for you to get in and out quietly and without being seen, the better. You may also need to do a lot of trimming um, of shooting lanes and stuff like that and I know there'll be a lot of green up in the spring, but at least you can get a jump start on it. And if you happen to live in an area that receives a decent amount of snow, use that opportunity to try and identify those heavily used trails. It'll never be easier than looking for fresh prints in the snow. And the third off-season tip is to locate late season feeding areas. If you can find where deer are feeding during the late season when food is scarce, you just found the limited resource. If you can find month old browse or so, you could key into those locations next November and December. If you're having trouble locating signs of late season browse, that could mean that you are lacking late season food on your property. Now is the time to start thinking about how you can fix that next year. The fourth off season project you can do to improve your hunting next year is to break out that chainsaw. Hinge cutting can be a very effective tool when it is used correctly. It can bring quality food down to a deer's level where it can utilize it. Um, it some strategically cut trees can create some bedding um, areas for deer. It can hide your movements to and from your tree stand. And it can let vital sunlight reach the forest floor, which would turn a biological desert into an area that can support more wildlife. Just be careful how you use this technique. There is such a thing as too much hinge cutting. Don't get carried away. And remember to always be safe when you're using a chainsaw. And the fifth project for better deer hunting next season is to create more food. Now this is usually the first thing people think about when trying to improve their property. And it is a, it is a good step, but there is more to it than just picking a flat spot, cutting down some trees and figuring out what to plant. We could talk for hours about what to plant and where. So all I'll say in this video is that the late winter, early spring is one of the best times to clear cut an entire food plot. It is much easier doing the hard work of felling trees and clearing them out when the temperatures are low and the bugs and snakes are hibernating. This is also a good opportunity to have loggers come in if you've got some valuable timber in the area you want to clear. That money could be utilized later on for some future projects. Starting your clearing now when you've got plenty of time uh, gives you the opportunity to make sure everything's set up the way you want it, especially if you are planting some early season food plots like soybeans. Depending on your area, February is also a great time to frost seed clover. That freeze-thaw cycle makes seeding clover extremely simple since it is such a tiny seed. If you can broadcast that seed on top of some snow, even better. Also keep in mind that if you are utilizing the last technique where you're doing some hinge cutting, you are also providing some high quality late season food. So those are just five of countless things you can do to improve your property. Everybody's property is different. So some of the things I covered may not apply to you, but the point is, is to find what is lacking. 
what that limiting factor is. Whether that's food, cover, or water, get to planning how you can add that to your property and then execute those land management projects. Let me know what your land management plans are for the off-season down below. Leave a like and subscribe so you can stay informed.